Welcome to Johns Hopkins Post Game Extra on HopkinsSports.com. I'm Stu Johnson. Well, this afternoon, the Johns Hopkins football team beat Franklin and Marshall College 28-23, to clinching the Centennial Conference outright for the second time in the last three years. And Coach Jim Margraff won his 100th career game in conference, the first coach ever to achieve that feat in the Centennial Conference. Hopkins found themselves trailing 10 nothing early on, though, before Dan Wadica made a huge 47-yard touchdown catch. Yeah, it was just uh, just a 10-yard dig across the field, and uh, when I when I broke for my cut, uh, Hewitt put the ball right on me. Um, it was just a perfect ball, and I was in the open field. Uh, then I was just I just ran uh, as fast as I could, and Kremens made a great block for me, and I was able to get in the end zone. It wasn't just Wadica, however. Sam Wernick had seven grabs, and Scott Kremens added a touchdown catch as well. Hopkins struggled at times against the F and M defense, but ultimately punched the ball in the end zone four times. Well, I think um, he, he has just been working a lot. He, he puts in so much effort into this uh, with all the receivers. Um, and he's just reading the defenses, just giving us the best opportunity to make plays. And uh, I don't know if it's chemistry just with me, but he has chemistry with everyone. Uh, everyone seems to be making big plays at big times. It was also senior day here at Homewood Field as the Blue Jays said goodbye to 25 members of the senior class playing their final ever regular season game at home. One of those was senior safety Mike Milano, who had eight tackles in the effort. Afterwards, he talked about the significance of the final game of the year at home. It means a lot. All the seniors, we've been working together since freshman year, and this is what we built towards since we came in as freshmen. We knew that our senior class and our incoming freshman class when we came in, that we could do something special, and having the chance to go undefeated, it means a lot to us. Blue Jays will be back in action next weekend as they take on McDaniel on Saturday, a noon start on the road. A victory increases the likelihood the Blue Jays will be hosting a playoff game right here at Homewood Field.